Hey guys, Thunder Underwood Club Garden.com, and of course, the House of Biceps. I am here at the House of Biceps answering your questions on how to get brutally strong. Now, if you're one of my clients or you've been one of my clients in the past, chances are I've asked you to do chain suspended good mornings. Now, chain suspended good mornings are great no matter what you're using them for. Uh, max effort, dynamic effort, repetition work, uh, accessory lift, on and off day as building GPP. Uh, whether you're using this to help build your squat, your deadlift, uh, your super yoke, your atlas stones, no matter why you're doing these, it's important to do these properly. And one issue that I consistently see through a lot of my clients is they're not breaking the chain. Now, I do always suggest that people use safety chains or some kind of safety harness hanging from the top of the rack when doing this. It helps people like myself with one too many Big Macs lodged into the abdominal core region right here, uh, into the Big Mac core region, uh, it helps us get underneath the bar because we have some play with the bar here. I can rock this bar forward and swing myself underneath it, especially if I don't have bands attached. But I end up having a lot of clients that don't have safety chains set up in their gym or safety straps. So they use the safety pins in the rack instead. Now, my opinion from trial error and working with a lot of different clients, the safety pins just don't work the same. Actually, I have tried it before, especially when traveling. It really wants me to grab the power rack and throw it across the gym. In fact, I would show you, but I would get so pissed off, it would skyrocket my cortisol levels and adrenal levels, and it would screw up the entire rest of my week. What generally happens when you're on the safety pins is you try to get underneath the bar. The bar is at one angle or it's at the other. You're trying to shift your feet to get in the right place. And at the end of it, you just dump the bar and take off running and say, screw it, I'll do a different exercise. And you're missing out on a heck of an opportunity to make everything improve when you skip chain suspended good mornings. Now, there are a lot of benefits of the chain suspended good mornings. I don't care if you're doing them with a close stance, medium stance, your deadlift stance, your atlas stone stance, your super yoke stance, or a sumo stance. The principles of doing them still remains the same. You gotta break the chain. Let me see if I can get wedged underneath here without breaking myself. I've got the OBB power handles on the bar today. That's what I used. And I use my deadlift stance most of the time, at least currently. What I can do, I can get this bar to have some play. So I can swing it to get my body underneath it and get it in the right position. Now right here, if I couldn't move that bar forward like this, I wouldn't be able to straighten this leg and bend this one enough to bring this leg and get it in place. And if it's not in the right place and it's stuck right here on the safety pins and I can't slide it forward, well, I can't move my foot to get it in the right place, but if I can swing it forward, I can move my feet and get it right in the exact place that I want it, ready to rock and roll. So now once you're here, you're doing it chain suspended. It's just like a deadlift. It's bottom position and you've broke one chain already. You've stopped and you're ready to go. skyrockets the blood pressure. So another big mistake that I see being done is people simply aren't breaking the chain. They're going down and bouncing off the bottom or they're starting from the top and they're going down to the safety pins, down to the safety chains and coming right back up from the same position. And that my friends is not a chain suspended good morning. So when people normally start from the top position, what I often see is that. And what I want to see is, if they start from here,
down, break the chain, relax the abs, explode. Relax the abs and the legs, contract and explode. So what do you do if you simply do not have the option of safety chains or safety straps? Well, if you have to use the old safety racks here and you're having difficulty getting into position, it's difficult to relax and contract at the bottom. You can't rock forward and let everything relax and get the Big Mac area full of air again. What you can do is very simple. Get under one more time. When you go down, all I want to see you do is raise your toes. Break the chain, raise the toes, and explode. Put them back down and explode. And just like that, by raising the toes, it allows your hips to go back, your belly to fill with air, your chest to come up, and you have essentially, once again, broken the chain. So guys, no matter what your purpose is for doing chain suspended good mornings, seek out some chains, get some straps, take them to the gym with you. They are for safety as well as strength. Get under the bar properly and don't forget to break the chain.